Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how I cut up a whole chicken. I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do a video on how I cut up a whole chicken, so here it is for you. So to wash the chicken, I'm going to use some distilled white vinegar. If you don't have vinegar, you can use a lime or a lemon. Either one will work. And you're going to need two bowls, one to put the chicken in after you cut it and one to put your scrap pieces. So here I have a fresh chicken. If your chicken is frozen, make sure you tie it out before you cut it. On the towel the frozen chicken, I usually just put it in water and let it towel and just be sure to change the water often. Before you start, check the chicken for the giblets. Some chicken comes with it and some don't. The first thing I'm going to cut off is the leg. So what you'll want to do is cut the skin between the thigh and the breast and just cut it enough where you can hold the leg to pop the bone out. And when you pop the bone out, that's where the joint is, so just cut along that. Make sure you have a sharp knife when doing this. Unfortunately, mine wasn't sharp enough, so it looks like I was sawing the chicken. <laughs> but make sure your knife is sharp and be careful, you don't want to cut yourself. So to separate the drumstick from the thigh, you'll want to look for the fat line and you can see it goes right down the middle and then just cut along that. So just carry on and do the same thing to the next side. Growing up in Belize, a few of the things my mom taught my sister and I when learning to cook was how to knead flour, how to cook beans and how to cut up a chicken. Next, I'm going to cut the wing off. So what you want to do is feel for the joint. But if you still don't know what you're looking for, just cut it a little bit until the joint is exposed and then cut along that. What I like to do is cut off the pieces of fat and skin that I don't want and set that aside. And then I cut off the chicken butty. <laughs> I don't eat this part of the chicken but if you eat it, leave it on there. Now I'm going to separate the backbone from the breast. So what you want to do is look for the fat line again and just cut right along the fat line. Use your hands to break it off a little bit and then use your knife to finish cut it off. So to cut up the backbone, I usually start cutting where the neck ends. It's a little bit hard to cut through so you'll have to use your hand to help it along but it's not that hard so you won't hurt yourself. And then I usually hold it and break it a little bit where the ribs in and then just cut right through that. For this piece I just like to hold it and cut it right down the middle. Again, I'm cutting off the excess skin and set that aside. I don't want that. 
Now to cut the breast, I look for this bone in the middle and cut it a little bit and then flip the breast over and push down on it to break the bone. This just makes it easy to cut it in half. I usually cut each breast piece in about four pieces. Sometimes it's hard to cut through the bone so it's easier to just flip it over and cut it. There's no right or wrong way to do this, you just cut it to however big you like your chicken, but this is how I like it. So that's it, that's how I cut up a whole chicken. Now I'm going to show you how I wash my chicken. So you're going to need another bowl to put your clean chicken after you wash it. Now I'm just going to put some water in my bowl and I'm just going to put enough in there to cover the chicken and then I'm going to add some vinegar to it. And you don't need a whole lot of vinegar, like about a tablespoon of vinegar. Mix that around and then wash your chicken. And I like to start with the cleanest part of the chicken, if that makes sense. So I like to start with the wing. What the vinegar does, it helps cut the slime from the chicken and I don't know how true it is that it helps kill the bacteria but that's just what we always do. So I just rub it and as you can see there's a feather sticking up so I'm just going to take that out because I don't want to eat no feathers. So just clean your chicken and rub it and take off all the slime. Maybe it's just a Caribbean thing, I'm not sure, but growing up in Belize, we always wash our meat. Everyone does. And whether it's chicken, pork, fish, whatever it is, we wash it. And we use lime or vinegar, whichever one we have on hand, that's what we're using. For the drumstick, I like to take off the fat and slime from under the skin. I don't want to eat that, so I just try to take off as much as I can. Don't worry, if you're ever coming to my house and I'm cooking for you, just know that you're eating a washed chicken, washed meats, everything is clean, okay? <laughs> See, there's another little feather sticking up. I don't want to eat that. So yeah, just take off anything that doesn't look good. Sometimes I leave a little bit of fat on the chicken and sometimes I just take it off. It depends on the piece of meat because it needs a little bit of fat so it's not so dry. Another piece of the chicken that has a lot of slime is the thigh. So I always make sure I take that off and especially under the skin it's really slimy so take off that slime. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you wash your meat. Let me know which country you're from. I would love to know which other country wash their meat. Because I know here in the States a lot of people don't wash their meat, but that's just something I grew up doing and I feel like I can't eat a chicken if I don't wash it. I'm not sure what this is called in this piece of the chicken, but I don't eat it. I always take it out. And that's from the backbone. My husband always jokes and say he knows when he's getting any food from me, he knows that it is clean, like that meat is well washed. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
for the neck there's always a piece of fat and skin hanging off so I always take that off oh and by the way the neck is my favorite part I love to eat the neck growing up my sister and I used to fight over the neck <laughs> if you're not from the Caribbean you won't understand I know some people think that thing have no meat on it but it have meat okay the poor neck never made it to a plate because we would always thief it out of the pot. <laughs> Plus, I like the bony part of the chicken. I like the neck, the feet, the wing. So, I don't care for the piece with all the meat. But my husband and I evens out because he likes all the meaty part and I like the bony part. So, nothing goes to waste. <laughs> Well, there you go. I hope that helps. And as you can see, I got a lot of things off the chicken. This is all the scrap pieces. I mean, when you look at it in the beginning, it didn't look like it had anything on it, but there's a lot to throw away. I'm just going to rinse that off one more time and then I'm finished. Would you look at how beautiful and clean this is? This just makes me so happy. Sometimes the tip of the wing is not always good, so if it's not good, just cut it off. So if I'm not ready to cook my chicken right away, I'll just put it in a freezer bag and freeze it. And then when I'm ready for it, I just tie it out and put it in the pot. I don't need to wash it anymore or do anything. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.